292 Keystone Zeppelin just came in on trade here, a Halo RV of Goldwater, Michigan. And I mean just at the time of this filming. They just left. Um, this is uh, this is different. This is cool. This is sort of the predecessor to the modern rear kitchen. It it has the basic general look, feel, layout of a rear kitchen, but it's actually a side kitchen. Um, and it seems kind of weird, but what it what it gives this floor plan, uh, aside from this giant front storage compartment under the bed, is this floor plan is functional with the slide closed. It maintains full accessibility while you're in transit. And that is something I can't really say of most modern rear kitchens. Um, it's interesting to me that modern rear kitchens actually kind of won out because this is sort of a cool floor plan. The other thing that it has is just an ungodly sum of really big windows on both sides of the coach and in the back. So it's sort of got the windows of a rear living room with the storage of a rear kitchen with the going down the road functionality of, I don't know, an old camper because you don't tend to get that as much anymore. Um, a lot of really good facets in this floor plan, and it is insanely lightweight. 4,955 pounds, and it's been very well kept, too. Um, previous owners put on some max air covers over the vents so you can get some airflow in the bedroom and the bathroom, uh, you know, when you're, um, oh, in storage or in transit or rainy days or whatever. Um, the uh, This is kind of the predecessor to what is really today's Keystone Passport, which is something that we carry here at Halo RV, so I'm still pretty darn familiar with this. They put a, uh, a pretty heavy duty reinforcement on a, uh, a rear bumper uh, one inch receiver hitch, a class two hitch, so if you wanna put a bike rack or something on the back of this, you can. Now, mostly, when you look around this trailer, uh, I, I was, what, what shocked me is, you can see the gleam on the skin you don't get a trailer this age with that kind of gleam unless it's been extremely well kept. Now, I can tell you, playing CSI for campers, it was parked facing the sun. And I can tell you that because the decals on the nose are missing. So, an uh, in, in RV of this age, I don't care who builds it, I don't care how nice it was, when it gets exposed to enough sun, any decal will eventually fade, or as our Canadian folks would say, decals, depending on where you live in Canada. Um, but they didn't let the decals like get flaky and old and disgusting. They just took a good power washer or heat gun or whatever, and they blew the decals off. It's clean. It looks good. You know, it looks. I'd, I'd rather have something that looks like this any day as opposed to ugly flaking stickers. Um, let's step inside for you. So, like I said, at a glance, this is normal super slide out uh, that you find on a lot of things. And this is that little area that you could, and at one point there probably was some sort of like little uh, spinning barrel chair or two right here. So you might decide to add your own chairs right here. I'm not sure what happened to them over time. Maybe they broke down and got used. I don't know. But normally, you expect to see kitchen wrap around the back wall, like you'll see a refrigerator there. But by moving the fridge, you can have the slide out totally closed on this thing, still access all of the kitchen storage, all of the counter space, all the refrigerator, all your seating, the bathroom, the bedroom. This floor plan is 100% functional even when it's closed up. And that's what I think is so cool about it. The slide out only enhances it. It does not require the use of the slide out. It just gets better with it. Like, like I said, big scenic viewing windows. I don't care what you have to look at outside or what side of the RV it's on, you can see it here. They did an awesome job. I also like the little overhang. You could turn that into a little breakfast bar real easy. And prep space, heck yes, buddy. Countertop space always rocks. Um, the, uh, you know, corner pantry. And I like this extra little shelf and, and little pocket back here. It seems a little odd, but you know what's actually really smart? Um, in today's market, they would put uh, doors on like right here. Well, if a door opens, it could interfere with this slide out flange and it could hit or break something. So now it's foolproof. It's actually really smart design. Um, spinning around for you. Uh, this was built before the entertainment center had to be the focal point of an RV. So the entertainment center is actually mostly storage that you could simply drop a TV into if you want. But it's big, it's wide open. You could easily mount like a, a on a pedestal base, a, a pivoting or swivel pedestal base. Uh, <coughs> pretty aggressive TV in there. I bet you get close to 40 inches. <coughs> Pardon me. 
right when you walk in the door. This, now, this has a classic Keystone split bath. That is one of the things that is not as popular in today's market as a split bathroom. It used to be very popular. Uh, you've got a, uh, a big linen cabinet right outside here, uh, and uh, you've got a very privatized bathroom. Um, you know, in today's market, we tend to like the sink and the toilet and the shower all in one room. When this was built, that just kind of wasn't the case. It was a different time and it, with different designs. So now we have a split bath. People used to like to have the utility of a little sink here in the bathroom or in the uh, bedroom. Now we don't seem to like that as much. But you're getting an insanely lightweight camper that, as far as I can see, has been well kept. I mean, it has been very well kept um, at a really, you know, old RV used price tag. So that ain't bad. Now, like, if you're looking to try RVing for the, like, who's this camper for? I guess that's what I should just start this with. If you've never had an RV, you're looking to try it, you're looking to get into it, get, getting started, or you're just trying to upgrade to a slide out from a no slider, or you're tired of the old pop-up, bang, buddy. This is the one right there. This is the camper you want to get. Um, so as soon as uh, I, I can, I'm going to get this thing online. There will be a, vi a link in this video description that says check for price and availability. You'll be able to see all the, the any weights and measures I've been able to dig up on something this age is tricky. But anything I can tell you about it that I haven't covered already, I will write there, including pricing, because we do clearly publish pricing. And we welcome trades. We love first timers equally as well. It doesn't matter what your situation is, we have the facilities here to get you camping. So if you need hitching, we got it. You need a brake control, we got it. You need a new truck, we got it. All you gotta do is call, we do the rest. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping everyone.